Hey guys, my name is Jason with S&J Forest Products, and on today's video, I want to talk about some of the logs behind me. We're going to get them loaded up on a log truck and sent off to the mill, and at the end of the video, we'll take a look at the uh, scale chart, and we'll see how much money I got off a load of cedar today. So here's kind of a quick overview of the pile. 95% of this stuff is western red cedar, and I've got about 55 or 60 logs here, so I've probably got a little over a load and a half. I can fit about 35 logs on a load, uh, depending on the weight. And all my trees that I've been cutting are dead or dying, um, dead in the top. And I've just been cleaning up the, the forest I got, trying to get the dead wood out and uh, getting ready to replant. Most of my logs I try and get 40 footers out of. A lot of people say that 24s are the best, but when we take a look at the, the log scale chart here later in the video, um, I can talk a little bit more about why I try and get 40s, but essentially the price is so much better by going on a 40 foot long log. Even though the board footage you get out of the scale is less, the price makes up for it. So let's go in and we'll take a good look at some of these logs. I'll talk a little bit about scale and how to scale a log and some of the deductions. Um, that I'm going to end up getting on these logs, but uh, I'll do a video here in the future uh, really in, in depth on scaling and, and what log scaling means. So let's get up close here and we'll take a look at some of these logs I got. So my strategy on getting logs to the mill is you can see like on this log right here and this log here, there's some, there's some butt rot in there. There's a big rotten spot there, there, and... How this process works is the log truck comes, picks up the logs, they go to the mill, and then they're independently scaled by a log scaling bureau uh, in Western Washington. And the log scaler determines uh, the deductions for the log or how much um, they're going to take off for defects like the rot. Um, there's one here. This one has a big uh, pistol butt on it. Um, and so they're going to give me less wood for this log because it's not straight and you know uh true and there's no butt rot in that one so that's a good log there won't probably won't be any deductions on that one but here's why i leave um this butt rot in here and i mentioned earlier that the value of these logs is so high right now cedar on a 40 foot log i'm getting 1900 dollars a thousand board feet and so when you have a log like this that has some rot in it my strategy is to send a 40 foot log as is with the butt rod in it, the scaler is probably gonna deduct, I don't know, maybe five feet, three feet, six feet, something off this log. Um, but the way the scaling, uh, the log scaling works is if I can send a 40 foot log, regardless of the deductions, I still get paid the 40 foot price. And so uh, if this is a 40 foot log and they take off 10 feet, right? They take off 25%. I still get paid the 40 foot price, even though they took off 10 feet of the log. And so what that means is if I cut this off down to size, if I, if I cut all the butt rot out of here and take it down to uh, like a 30 foot log, I would get a 30 foot log price instead of a 40 foot log, even though there wouldn't be any rot, I wouldn't get any deductions. But instead of $1,900 a thousand, I'd only get 1,500 a thousand. And so I might as well send this, take the deduction, and to still get the 40 foot price. So that's my strategy. And that's why you'll see a lot of these logs um, do have some defect in them. They do have some butt rot in them. Um, and I just, I send those to the mill and I, and I take the deduction, but I still get the 40 foot price. Now, the other thing about this is, is I can fit, like I said, about 35 logs, 38, 33, depending on the size. And it costs me about $425 a load. And so it works out to be about 11 or 12 bucks a log. And so um, it doesn't cost me hardly anything to ship a bad log, right? I'm, I'm taking a gamble, essentially, on shipping a bad log. I've done all the work. My time's, you know, free, depending on how you look at it. Um, but, but it's all my cost to get these logs out here is not very much. And then to send them to the mill for 12 bucks more isn't that big of a deal. And if, if, even if I take a deduction, even if I, I have a bad log in there, or even one, if one gets cold, um, half the logs that I send, if they're, if they're good and I get some money for it, I'm ahead. Um, so, so that's kind of, again, my strategy is I send, 
uh, logs, 40 foot long, if I can make them, essentially as long as possible, take the deduction on them. And, uh, and if I get a bad log in there too, that's no big deal. Cause it only costs me, you know, 10, 20, 30 bucks. And, uh, and I, I get paid for the, the logs that probably a lot of guys wouldn't ship to the mill. I'm sending a lot of stuff to the mill that, that really is, <laughs> is not very good stuff. Um, but the scalers okay it, which they're an independent third party. They say there's good board footage in there and there's good wood in there. And I get paid on the scaling report, not uh, you know, the mill doesn't, can't come in and say, oh no, that's a bad log. We won't take that. It's all based on the scalers to my understanding. So, um, let's go take a, a little bit more in-depth look at some of these logs and uh, then we'll get the log truck here. We'll get them loaded up and we'll get them out of here. So here's a log right here. That's a great example. This one I actually found out in the brush laying on the ground. It's been there for a long time. Um, it's, it, it was, it was a blowdown from years ago, but because it's cedar, it is very, very rot resistant. And this was actually a double top that I, that I bucked off right here. I have a 21 foot log. I, it's, it's actually a 23 foot log. So it's, um, you leave 10, 10 to 12 inches of trim. I usually go 12 inches of trim. Um, so even though this is a 23 foot log, you got to leave a foot of trim. And so they'll pay you on 22 feet. And that's a mill spec. Every mill is a little bit different. But I, dr I literally drug this out of the bushes. Uh, and I, and I bucked it at the end. The, the end has a little bit of rod in it. This has just a hair, a little bit of rod in it, but not much. Um, and so this log here at 22 feet with that size top, that's a hundred dollar log. And so if I left it in the brush, you know, I, di I didn't want to send it cause it looked bad or whatever. Um, I'm going to get some deductions on it. I know that I might get, you know, five feet off. Um, so I get $80 for it. But all, literally all I had to do this log is bucket at the ends, choke it up with another two or three logs um, that were I fell next to it and drug it out. And so this is, a, I mean, it's not free money, but it's it's very, very easy logging. Um, and you can see some of these other ones. This one was down. This one was down. That one was down. This one was dead in the top, but alive. This one was dead in the top, but alive. Um, and so, you know, I have a whole range of wood here but it's all going to make money for me in the end. Once it gets to the mill, they're going to make some beautiful wood out of it. I get the money, my woods get cleaned up and, uh, and the mill gets to make some money as well. So it's kind of a win, win, win for everybody. Um, and you know, that's, that's kind of what I'm doing here. So let's get, let's get the log truck here. We'll get this loaded up and then we'll take a look at the scale report once I get it. All right, guys, I was a little slow on getting the camera going, but, uh, he's back there loading now. Let's see if we can get you focused on on him and uh, yeah so he'll just use that boom there grab the logs usually decks the 40 footers on the bottom and up the sides and then any short ones he puts uh, in the middle of the load so I'll get the camera set up somewhere we'll get this thing um, videoed for you so you can see him load uh, the whole the whole load there and then we'll send it off to the mill
Well, there's the full load. God, he's got it stacked up there almost twice as high as his bunks. I didn't count how many logs are on there, but I think it's over 35. The scale report will tell us. That's a lot of cedar. So now we'll get him strapped down and off to the mill he goes. All right, there goes our load to the mill. I'm expecting hopefully $5,000 out of that load. So we'll check the scale report when it comes in. All right, guys, well, we got our scaling report here. We wanted to walk you through a few things. Um, here is the total amount, the total value of the logs. It cost me $425 to get the logs to the mill on the truck. So they held that out and paid the truck driver. So our total net for that load was 5190, which is not a bad load at all. Um, and there's, I just wanted to go through this with you real quick and show you the different, um, things I get from the mill. So this is the sort code for the different types of logs. 223 and 225 are um, a hemlock, and I'll try and get a, a picture of the sort code here. I'll put a link um, so you guys can see from the mill what they pay and what these sort code means. Um, but 223 and 225 is a hemlock sort, and then all the 400s are cedar. Uh, 411 and 413 are lower grades, and then 424, 425, and 426 are all um, pretty good grades. I think 425, 426. Uh, and 426 are the 1750 and 1900 a thousand. Oh, you can see it right over here. Here's the value for each of these sorts. And then 429, anything ending in a nine is a no pay log. Um, but yeah, altogether, we had most of our, our value came from the 40 foot, uh, 36 to 40 foot logs. That's our net board footage. And so we had 40, almost $4,400 worth of value in, uh, that, 2300 board feet and then moving along this is the uh, scaling report so this is what the scalers do and again these scalers are an independent third party they're kind of like an ass air in um, precious metals they they tell the mill the value of the logs and then on the very last page which is probably the most interesting part for everybody this is the scaling report so they go through um, by log and they talk about the sort code. This is the diameter at the top, the length. This is any deductions for diameter and deductions for length. Species is red cedar, grade three, Scribner's gross board footage, net board footage. And here's the comments or the, the, um, the reasons for deductions, essentially what this is. And I also have another uh, kind of code um, thing that I'll, I'll post here showing you what all these different codes mean. Um, but for example, let's find a good log 420. Here's a good log 426. So that's that 36 to 40 foot cedar, 10 inch diameter, 40 feet long, no deductions, red cedar, come across to 150 board feet, there weren't any deductions, so that's the net board footage and no no comments. So that log right there was worth almost three hundred dollars. Here's another one. Uh, what's this one? Thirteen inch diameter, thirty four feet. They gave me a, a length deduction on this one. It scaled at two ten. They deducted twenty feet because it taken three feet off for length, and that's the BK. I think it's bear kill, which I actually don't know what that means. I'll have to follow up and figure out what that means. And then RT is rot. And so a lot of them have a little bit of rot. This ND is um, not debarkable. And they actually, that ends up being a no pay log. So here it is, 429. There's another one up here, not debarkable. And uh, that's probably because either I left the stobs on the on the logs were too long where I, where I trimmed the, the, um, the limbs off. But uh, that's, that you really don't want to get. I mean, that, that log would have been, Let's see, coming across here, 90 board feet. They gave me 80, so that would have been about a $150 log that I got a, a no pay on. Um, but down here at the very bottom, we had 38 logs on the whole load. Average length was 34 and a half. The total uh, board footage was 3580. 
after all the deductions was 3370 and the net percent defect was only about 6%, which is pretty good. It, it averages, I mean, even on, on a good load of logs, the mill is telling me that they average about 10% deductions for defect, even on, uh, even on green loads. So, um, we're trimming our, our trees up, getting the, getting the good, the good wood, taking a little bit of deductions where we have rot. You know, the hemlock had some rot in it, but, uh, we still got some, some good pay on them. So anyway, um, wanted to pass that on to everybody. This was, you know, a lot of people don't get to see this. And this is something that I had a lot of questions on when I started logging about how this whole process worked and uh, what all these numbers meant. So now you guys see what a scale report is and uh, see how much I got paid for my one load of cedar this year. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, you can leave me a comment in the comment sections below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.